Uh, tier list on classes and kata. You know, I've already done like a kata tier list maker. Kata, kata tier list maker. Uh, right here. And, oh, it's already saved from my last time I did it. This is basically like for PvP, like a tier list, ge like general speaking. I didn't uh, rank any of these specs because no one really plays any of these specs. No one plays like tank or frost or blood or like prot or combat or like, like these are the specs people play, right? And if you actually look at, at the specs people play, there's a lot of specs that are either S tier or A tier. Is Ellie Shaman really B? Oz would cut my head off if I said it was B. Oh yeah, <laughs> Oz is in the chat. <laughs> Move Ellie up, bro. What, do you think Ellie is A tier, Oz? Like, wh you think Ellie's as good as like Frost Mage, Shadow Priest, Arms Warrior? Like, honestly, do you? It might be. Which means then Resto True, it's like B tier, like that. Like, it, it might be something like this. It might be something like this for, for like actual arena specs. Which goes to show that like almost every spec is insanely good right like almost every spec is insanely good like no one plays these if you were to rank these yeah like enhance might not be as good and like yeah arcane might not be as good like yeah like survival might not be as good or like like uh combat rogue or whatever might not be as good but like the point is nobody plays these everybody like for the specs that people play they're all really good you know what i mean they're all really really good it's pretty cool Uh, Demo is better than AF. Really? In Kata? Are you are you sure you're not thinking of the start of MOP with like Chaos Waves? In Kata? I feel like everyone played UA. In like tournaments. I, I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't I don't remember that. Why is Enhance not on the board? Well, no one really plays Enhance, but you're right. Enhance should be on the board. I, I actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how good Enhance is in Cataclysm. I just don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't fought a single one, and yeah, I, I would guess it's probably lower just because I, I haven't heard about it. I haven't fought it. I would guess it. That means it's a little lower, but I, I like I said, I don't know. S tier is diluted. Can't have everything be the best. Well, that's why Kata is good. Someone said that's too many specs for S tier. Okay, well, what spec would you take out then? What spec would you take out of S tier? Certainly not Marksman. Certainly not Rhett. Certainly not DK, certainly not Feral, certainly not Rogue, certainly not Warlock, certainly not Mage, certainly not Rested Druid. Maybe Moonkin? You can maybe move Moonkin to A, but that's probably Cap too. My my point is you can't take any of them out of S tier because they're all S tier. Yes, it's a long list, but that's what makes Kata good. Right? The only one you can maybe move is Moonkin to A. But like the, the rest of these, I'm sorry, you just can't move them out of S. They're too good. Anyway, my point is everything is good in Kata, and that's what makes it so fun. That's what makes Kata PvP so good. Uh, what if you made an S plus tier? Would maybe only one or two classes be an S plus? If you had, I don't know. I, what what would be in an S plus tier? Like Hunter, Rogue, Lock, and Shaman maybe would be the four in S plus. So if you really wanted to get specific, you could do something like this, where. Like, these four are probably the best four in Kata. Like, if you wanted to get real, tri like, specific with it. But, like, it just does... I, I don't know. I don't... Like, I don't even know if that's fair is the thing. Like, it, it makes more sense to have it like this, I, I swear. It actually makes more sense to have it like this. I think it's more accurate and it makes more sense. Like this, yeah. Anyway, that's the tier list for Kata. That's gotta be it. I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but the point is every class owns <laughs> and even the classes that don't own still kind of own and that's what makes it fun just like modern warfare 2 just like mr pandaria you make every class kick ow ah, kick butt family friendly and you have a fun meta game because even if you're not the strongest class your class still owns which means you can still have a good time that's how you make a good meta game right all right